In October, we see the blood moon travel through the sky. This moon is also called the shedding moon, or the falling leaf moon, depending on where you live. In many places, it's the hunter's moon, it's no coincidence that hunting season is in the late fall. Coming right before Samhain, this is a time when the nights are crisp and clear, and you can sense a change in the energy around you. This is the time of year for hunting and gathering, stocking up on provisions, and making plans for the coming winter. The dark and cold nights, are a reminder that for our ancestors, this was a time to consider mortality. Those who failed to plan accordingly in late fall, could freeze or starve to death before winter ended. Set aside a few hours to can your garden vegetables, hang the last of your herbs to dry someplace indoors, and begin figuring out what sorts of things you can do over the winter to help keep yourself warm and well fed. If you knit, sew, or crochet, stock up on yarns and fabrics so you can begin working on new projects when it's too chilly and dark to do anything outside. You may also want to use this moon phase to do a ritual honoring your ancestors. Work on your genealogy, dust off the family heirlooms, and hang some photos of your clan and kin around the house. Decorate your altar with symbols of the Samhain season, as well as with items that help you connect to all of those in your bloodline. The blood moon refers to the final harvest, not in fact, an agricultural harvest, but that of the last meat of the year, before winter returns. Appropriate, of course, as Samhain is the final harvest festival. You can, of course, interpret the blood moon many ways however. You might take it literally and spend the day mixing your own sausage, or preparing items for simple winter meals such as stew, chili or tomato meat sauce. You could take it to mean familial blood and perform a ritual to honor your ancestors, or a protection rite for your home and family or simply share a meal together. Keep in mind that this is the season, when the veil between our world and the spirit world are at its thinnest. Use this time for spiritual growth, if there's a deceased ancestor you wish to contact, this is a great month to do it.